Come out and have a look at this. It wasn't my fault. Hi. Kat and Justin here from Five Acre Farm. We've just had about 10.2 mil of rain. We know because we checked on the, the Eco Wit rain gauge weather station thingy. So we've just come down the driveway to have a quick look at our swales to see how much water they've started to collect. It's not looking too bad. There's a little bit of water in some of them. I'll show you. That's held the water all right. And you can see there the water that's being held. We'll go and check the other swales out. Jake always enjoys a bit of a run around even though he's getting wet paws. You can see there the water going down to the dam. We'll come back to that in a minute. This is our swale that is sort of, it's about halfway along in the property. It's an old driveway that we've got here. And then Justin made this swale to capture all the water that comes off of the old driveway. What's this stuff called? Uh, green manure, winter green manure. Yeah. And as you can see, when it's full of water, you can tell how good a job you've done uh, making it level. So I can see I've got a bit of work to do here now, up there a bit further. Turn around. So got some other works to do when uh, we get the tractor out, and um, I'll uh, take a bit more out of this section here. So it's a little bit more level, a little bit more flat. It's still raining heaps, so I'm just going to go and check to see what the dam looks like. I'm going to take a rake down with me to see if I need to clear out some of the drains that we've got set up. Hi, happy weekend. I just I can't get going. I, I don't know what to do. But what I've decided I will do is I've got pen and paper and I am going to be just having a bit of a wander around having a look at a few things and hopefully I can decide what it is that I want to actually do today. First, I'm gonna check on the pepper berries. Just make sure that they're all going okay. Look at that. Beautiful. So what I am gonna do, well, what I'll, the first thing I'll add to my list is to put some ground cover around these. I think maybe some carcalla or something else. I'll see what I can find. Next job that I'm gonna to add to the list is to train our pepper, uh, not pepperberry, train our appleberry plants that we've got growing everywhere. They're beautiful. They're really beautiful plants and they are growing absolutely everywhere. We've got so many of them another native Australian bush food. See if I can find some berries, here we go. So when they're purple, you can roast them and I think they turn yellow and that's when you can eat them raw. They sort of, we've tried them at this stage and they're not very nice, but yeah, I wanna try pickling some too. So the plan with the, some of the apple berries is to put up something that it can climb over and then that will also help make just to add a bit of privacy to us and for when we start doing um, Airbnb it's another plan that we've got happening um, we're gonna get a little tiny house and pop that somewhere on the property we're thinking up this end around there somewhere so you can see oh it's a bloody chicken out hey chicky so you can see there's even more appleberry growing there as well. So I might do another fence there to help it climb. Have a look at that one. Another appleberry, just to give you an idea of how well it grows here. So it's sort of, this one's just climbing up a dead branch at the moment. It's twisted way around. 
so pretty. I love it. And it'd be nice to be able to make it a bit easier to collect. Ah, there's another chicken. <laughs> Makes it a bit easier to collect the actual berries. And also if it's on a bit of a fence as well, sort of like it doing a bit of a spalier. And it means that we can cover it so that the birds don't eat all of the berries. We'll of course leave some so that the birds will have some and other animals too, I guess. Hello chickies, I haven't let you guys out. What are you doing? I might just come and let all of them out. <laughs> it's like torture for them, me walking around this area. <laughs> and then, well, most of them are still in the run. Uh, another one that's not. So we've got one brown, one white, and one black chicken out already. What about you guys? Do you want to hop out? Want to have a scratch around? Okay. Have a look at this poor chicken. She's looking a bit better now, but she's been molting. She doesn't have much of a tail. Ain't she? Oh, this is what she used to look like. This is one of the spots where I'll get some cartella from. So this is also edible as well. Um, the, oh, the whole part is edible. So you can actually pickle, you, or you can eat them raw. You can also pickle them. Um, and the flowers are edible as well. This one is, We've tried it. It's it's tasty, but it's I don't know, like see how it's got longer leaves and then it's also got littler leaves. The smaller ones are a bit tastier. They're not as strong as the bigger ones. Um, but we've got heaps of this growing everywhere. Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Great ground cover. You can see that it's holding a lot of leaf litter in there so that'll be really good for the soil underneath it'll be amazing under there over here we've got a re another beautiful ground cover this is one of my favorites that it just was growing we we didn't plant this here have a look at it it's called yellow button i think and it's got i just i love this color i love love the color of the leaves but it's also got beautiful yellow flowers that come up over springtime and i've already transplanted heaps of this all over the place It'd be great to have it just covering the ground wherever we don't have anything else planted here's a shot of the dam that's the bank there so we actually this was full after last summer we had heaps and heaps of rain it's a spot where the, the water just comes in and then a spot over there near the driveway as well but yeah, it's been leaking i think the trees the trees in there are sort of the breaking the bank oh, the ground um Yeah, there's always heaps of frogs, uh, heaps of mozzie larvae as well. But this is about, um, sorry, I'll move over to the other side so you don't have the sun in your eyes. Uh, it doesn't actually look that deep. Zoom out a bit for you. But this is actually probably two meters deep. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> When we first moved here, it was only about half a metre deep or half a metre full of water. And we never thought we'd see it rise this quick. Really cool. So we're hoping to get some more tanks up near the veggie patch. Um, and then we can transfer some water from the dam up to those tanks. And then we can maybe use that 
or maybe use it for fruit trees. Not sure yet, we haven't quite decided. Have a look at this. <laughs> Check out the colour. There's bees all over it. So pretty. So nice. This is something else that I want to do. Add it onto my list. I've got two sage bushes that are there. They went amazing when we first moved in. But with the wood stack there, I think maybe it might get a, a bit too much shade now. So I'll dig them up and move them some, somewhere else. I've just spotted something else too. Over here, we've got a whole lot of um, rosemary plants. Have a look at this one. Look at the colour on that. Isn't that amazing? I might take some cuttings of that one. That one's doing well too. So there's a few different sorts here. I don't know what, what their names are, but I think this one was from my mum. Maybe? I can't remember. I know we did take some cuttings from our old place as well. So I'm hoping that that'll grow up to be a beautiful big hedge. But I might do the hedge the whole way along as well. This is a really good example of putting the car colour or pig face um, on the berm around a tree. We planted olive trees, we've got five, six of them. We planted a few just down the driveway, but yeah, I put the carcala there to help help hold water in. But I've noticed I need to do some weeding, so I'm going to add that to the list. Hey, is it a bit bright? A bit bright in the sun. Hey, you handsome boy. Yeah, good boy. Um, I do want to come and give this a bit of a weed and also clean up a bit as well. Oh. I'm just going to go up and see what Justin's doing. I can hear him on the chainsaw. I think we might have had a few trees down. So we've had, like the winds have been crazy. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a tree that had come down. I have to be careful not to scare him because he has um, like Bluetooth headphones on and and he's using a chainsaw as well. So I'll try not to scare him. Ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. Oh, good, how are you? Very goodly. Well, I wasn't even looking to see if you're in shot then. What are you doing? Oh, cutting up some firewood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, had another tree come in with that crazy weather. Oh, yeah, I was week. just, yeah, saying how the winds have been crazy. Pretty crazy, yeah, so, which is good. It was a dead one, so happy days. Getting there, cleaning up a little bit as we go as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, at, is that worms or something? It's all the borer marks. So ah. we get a lot of wood borers in here. And I actually found a whole bunch of their nests the other day, or cocoons. Oh. Yeah, very cool. Um, come, over, come over and have a look at this. I thought these were huntsman sacks, but these are the borer. They live in oh. between. So yeah, that's the their little cocoons they grow up in, and it's how they Leave in between the barks. They look like... Look, look there. Oh, yeah. They look like little kiwi fruits. Oh, that's kind of gross. Yeah. So, between them and some termites and black ants, um, a lot of the trees end up rotten at the bottom. So, it's not ideal. And we've got to wait for them to blow over. So, we get a fair bit of firewood out of them and then we can sort of try, like split around the the rot that comes with all the borer holes and all that kind of stuff as well, but. Chickies have come to help. Hi girls. So I love it up here. We haven't cleared much up here. So as you can see, there's lots of wood on the ground that has to be picked up. 
clear up the fuel, fire fuel. But yeah, the chickens will get in here and do a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Great little cleaners they are. And there'll be lots of bugs up here as well. And borers. So I mentioned that we've had some crazy winds. Um, but yesterday we had so much rain. It was absolutely awesome. Um, but also with the rain comes other risks as well. And have a look at this. We had a bit of an accident last night. A bit of damage on the wheel. Well, hubcap as well. It's not too bad though. That's probably the worst damage. So yeah, it was a bit of a scary time. Um, it wasn't my fault. I, I was not at fault. Um, yeah, what well, it was, I was coming downhill and a car had come, uh, they were at the TM section and turning right. So they turned right in front of me, um, which was fine. They were, you know, a fair way off and everything, but they didn't see another car coming up the hill, hit that car and that car spun around and hit me. Yeah, it was all sort of a bit crazy, but where yeah, everyone was all right. No one was really hurt or anything. It was just a bit of a shock. It was the first car accident that I've actually ever been in. Um, yeah, hopefully the last. Okay, hairs up. I've got my list, got my gloves, and it's time to get some work done. <laughs> 